This is why June 2019 general mathematics paper 2 and we are answering question number 1 e and the question reads given that 110 one, base x is equals to 40 base 5 the question asked is to find the value of x this is our equation involving number of bases so let's attempt to answer this very question together Solution to the problem to answer this very question that is to find the value of x that is the base of this very first number. What you need to do is to convert all those numbers from various bases to base 10. Then you can now equate their equivalence also in base 10. So let me start with 110 base x. 110 it is in base x. Let me convert it to base 10. So copy in 110 which is in base x. To convert this remember in base 10, you need to, to take each and every digit multiplied by the appropriate power of the given base. In this case, it's, yeah, it's x. So I'm going to have uh, 1 multiplied by x raised to the power of 2 plus the next digit, which is 1, multiplied by x raised to the power of 1 plus the next digit, which is 0, multiplied by x to, to the power of 0. So now simplify this x raised to the power of 2 times 1 is nothing but x raised to the power of 2. x raised to the power of 1 times 1 is nothing but x. And x raised to the power of 0, which is 1 times this 0, it, it will be 0. So at the end, you now have uh, x squared plus x as the simplified form of this. So next, you take the next uh, number base, that is 4, 0, which is in base 5. Convert it also to base the 10. So you now take 4 multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 1 plus the next digit which is 0 multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 0. So 5 raised to 1 is 5 times 4 that gives 20. 5 raised to 0 is 1 times this 0 gives 0 so in the area you now have 20. So 20 in base 10 is the same thing as 4 0 in base 5. See initially the two numbers that is 110 one, base x is equals to 40 base 5. So also their equivalent which is in base 10 will also be equal. So I'm going to copy the given equation. Instead 110 one, base x, I'll now replace it by its equivalent in base 10, which is x squared plus x. So I'm going to have x squared plus x by the left. Also, 4, 0, base 5, I will now replace it by it is equivalent, which is in base 10, which is this 20. So I have 20 instead. So I will now solve this very equation. This is equation that is quadratic because I can't see the highest power here is 2. So taking the 20 to the left hand side so that you have a general quadratic equation, you have x squared plus x minus 20 equals to 0. So solving this by factorization method, the factorization of the left hand side gives uh, x minus 4 into x plus 5 equals to 0. So either of these two brackets must be 0 for us to get a 0 as the product. So if the first bracket is 0 x minus 4, it implies that that x will be 4. And if it is the second bracket that is x plus 5 equals to 0, it will now imply that x will now take this value minus 5. But remember, x is the base of this very first number, which cannot be negative. So therefore, my x is now equals to 4. So this answer that is very question. So let me just share with you quickly. The mark distribution for this very question as it is contained in the marking scheme. So the very first mark is method one mark, and this method one mark is for your attempt correctly to convert any of this number to base 10. You have this method one mark. The next mark is for getting the correct quadratic equation, that is x squared plus x minus 20. You have this method one mark. The next mark is attempting to solve that quadratic equation by any method. In this case, it's factorization method. So factoring correctly, you have this method one mark. And the last, last mark is accuracy one mark when you now have the value of x as 4. You have this accuracy one mark. So in total, this very question has four good marks.